burning daylight. Today, we are going out to a park called Flat Nasty. It's, yay! yay. <clears throat> The reason it's called that is because the terrain is indeed flat nasty. We have ledges out there. There's some water. There's some steep hill climbs. Who's up for wheeling? Yeah. All right. All right, it's a morning, final day. We're in Salem, Missouri, heading out to a little uh, off-road park called Flat Nasty. And I hear there is nothing flat about it. Okay, we're turning right on ZZ, right on ZZ, like ZZ Top, right on ZZ. Driver's meeting! Driver's meeting! <laughs> We've saved the best for last, right? All right, you're gonna love this park. It's got a lot of slow stuff, a lot of fast stuff. We got technical rock crawling here. Hey, good morning, my name's Ron Maximoff. Um, I'm the owner of Flat Nasty Off-Road Park here in Missouri. And we're here with the Ultimate Adventure and we're gonna take them on some of our uh, trails here. And uh, We got some rocks and some technical stuff that we're gonna be doing today. And, uh, see if we can get a couple of these guys hung up and maybe use a little winch to take them. So uh, ride along with us. I hope you have fun. All right, we're on trail 18. This is called startup because that's what we're doing. We're starting up. It's pretty fun. This is the most rocks we've had the entire trip. And this is just the first trail. These guys are loving it, especially the rock crawlers. The guys that come from mud country, they're, they're, they're a little bit out of their element, but they're gonna find out what it's like. Right now we got the corn binder in the rocks and he knows rocks, so this is gonna be fun to watch. Looking for like a drive through to get some lunch or something like that. Maybe an ice cream or anybody's got any directions, let me know. Here we are starting our second trail. It's trail 15 at the park. This is a pretty gnarly little rocky hill climb. We're gonna run the top of this. It's about uh, three quarters of a mile long and then we'll be dropping down trail 13. So see you on the other side. I love rocks, I really do. And this trail, they're not huge, but they're big enough to keep you constantly on top of them. And I don't mean physically, but on your mind. If you're not thinking what's 10 feet ahead, 20 feet ahead, you're gonna smack one. Of course, if you have a spotter and can do that all day long, that's another thing. But if you're by yourself and just wanna have fun, go do some rocks, it's awesome. This is a great place.
rocky hill climbs are great, but boulder strewn stream beds can even be more challenging. Nice big rocks, control to crawl. Glad we had our Eastwood portable welder along. It came in handy as old crony Clifton Slay made some repairs back at the trailhead. All right, so we're at the waterfall, right? And they're they're called the bears. The bears, why? Because we have Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear, and they're <laughs> all a little different. So what's about Baby Bear here? What makes it? Baby, baby Bear is the easiest climb. But it's very, it's probably the most technical because if you can't hold your line, you're going to slide into it and get all jacked out of shape. If you hold your line, it's probably the easiest for the least uh, built rig to okay. do. Then you come to Mama Bear. Mama Bear it, um, fits some rigs better than the others because of the big break over. It's a pretty much straight up climb and if, the wheelbase becomes a factor yeah, here. Short wheelbase here, you're turtle on top. Um, Actually, long wheelbase gets hurt more there really? than the short wheelbase. Interesting. Okay, and then we go over here Papa to Bear. to Papa Bear. Ah, oh, this and is good. Papa Bear is a booger because it's always wet. Yeah. All year long, if you do this obstacle, you're going to do it with wet tires. That's a driver's line. You you literally have to be very careful not to overpower your tires. It's so easy because your front end's so light and your tires are wet. Um, do you bump it? Oh no. No, honey. no, that's not a horsepower thing at all. It's a very technical, it's it's actually how slow you can make your feel each knob. Oh, nice. it, it, nice. I mean, you paid a lot of money for those knobs on your tires. You let each one of them work for you. Cool. Uh, um, it's, you'll you'll kind of see once you see the rigs go up at how it works. Let's go do it. All right. Cool. All right. I'm picking on Little Bear here, the far right waterfall. It's most technical, but it gives me the best chance my low break over the 35 with a big old 14 bolt. I'm about to tackle baby bear because I have the papa bear of rigs. And I don't think my bumper will clear the big old bear. So you like you like the trip? Oh, this has been trip of a lifetime for me. I I'm <laughs> ecstatic. Awesome. You know, well, thanks ecstatic. again. You've done a great job. You know, Pleasure, you know, man. I didn't know a crew cab could do things that's done this week, I'll tell you that. So you're your dad here. You did, you did a great job, both of you. You know this last obstacle, last trail? Yeah. Yeah, well, you're done. How about that? Woo! Yeah. That's so awesome. what'd you think? Amazing. Yeah? Unbelievable. Whole, whole trip? Oh, yeah. You, did, you would do it again, wouldn't you? Yeah, in a heartbeat. <laughs>
whole trip. Epic trip. It was great. Epic. I like that. <laughs> it was really fun. You do it again? Oh, in a heartbeat. No problem. Appreciate Rick. it. No problem. Thank Talk you. Talk to you later. You know, uh, the readers, this is probably one of the best groups we've ever had. Um, these guys all had the right attitude. They they brought really good equipment, uh, you know, and they, a few of them encountered things along the way, but they never let them get it down. A, a plus. Well, that was the last obstacle, last day of the UA, yeah, even though I didn't make the hill. Uh, I did make it all week, to about probably 1,500 to 2,000 miles of uh, roading and wheeling. Uh, put on a good, good event this year, and I'm going to be able to drive it home. Thanks again, Ron. Sheila, I appreciate it. This has been a heck of a great park. I mean, we barely scratched the surface of it. How many acres here? 850. And we did what? Uh, well, I don't Two? know how many acres, but we <laughs> ran a couple trails. A couple of trails, yeah. but that was it. I mean, we didn't do hardly anything compared to what's still here. Um, and, we, and we loved having you, and we, we loved you guys on the trails. You think we did okay? Oh, your trucks looked awesome. Yeah. My rocks liked it. Your rocks like You rubbed them just right. Oh, we like rubbing rocks too. Well, thanks again. We'll, we'll see you next you time. We'll come much. on back. Thanks Thank again. You. Thank bye bye. See you guys. Okay, that's it. That's eight days of wheeling through Nebraska, Iowa, Illinois, and Missouri. We did it all in 1,400 miles, five states, and a lot of work. A lot of wheeling, a lot of fun. Now all we have to do is get home and plan it for next year. See you then. Ride Shotgun with Rick Payway and 23 Briggs on a punishing 8-day, 1,400-mile wheeling trip, exploring five off-road parks with deep water crossings, sand, mud, hill climbs, narrow trails, and big rock ledges. Join Fred Williams as he reviews the ultimate tug truck build. I'm going to take you underneath the truck and tell you what those are all about. For the Director's Cut, order the Ultimate Adventure DVD at offroadpowerproducts.com or download at iTunes and Google Play Now.